if you have periods then you know you cannot put a price on feeling comfortable during your time of the month because you just cannot put a price on that. Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something a little bit different. As you can tell from the title of the video, today I'm gonna to be talking about some alternative ways to manage period pain. If you are like me and you sometimes have really bad periods, then I think you're gonna find this video very interesting. Okay, let's jump right into it. Before we start with the video, I just wanna say I'm not a natural remedy type person. When I'm on my period, I want all the pills, give me all the pills, all the drugs, give me everything. I wanna be comatose, in bed, in a ball, like not doing anything. But obviously, unfortunately, life doesn't work like that. We have to go to work, we have to live our lives and do those kind of things. Also, you don't always have pills and medication on hand, which is actually what inspired this video. So earlier this week, I was on my period, I had really bad pains, a really awkward time, so I started at night, and obviously at night, 10 p.m., what shops are open, who is going out, and it's pitch black, and you're a woman, definitely not me. And then obviously in the morning, I'm rushing off to work, there are no painkillers at home. So what are you gonna do? And I think this video is for those times. And I think the products I'm about to share, they supplement medication as well. So if you want to kind of prolong how many ibuprofen or paracetamol that you're taking throughout the day, then these are good remedies to help you prolong like your medication. Okay, now let's get into the product. So I have three things that I'm gonna be discussing today. The first of which is a recent discovery of mine, but when I say recent, I discovered this last year, actually one of my very good friends, Megan, shout out Megan, she actually put me onto this. She's been telling me about this balm for the longest time, but I only bought it last year. And that is the own holy cramp balm. This is a balm that you basically put a few drops in your palm, massage it on your belly, on your back, and oh my God, the cramps, the cramps loosen up, the cramps melt away amazing i've been using this i would say for almost a year i'm on my second bottle of this oh my god it is amazing i personally think this works better in conjunction with paracetamol ibuprofen basically any kind of pain relief you can use it on its own but if your pains are anywhere from like a six to a ten you're going to want to supplement this with something but if your pains aren't the worst then you can use this also i think if you're on like day two or three and the pains have started to mellow out a bit, then I think you can still use this. Cause I use this when my pains are like a six or a seven and this works quite well on its own. In fact, last week when I didn't have any medication on me, this was such a godsend and it lasts for a really, really, really long time. So I actually have the own website up. So I'm just gonna read out a couple of quick things about this just so we can understand like what makes it so great. This calming topical oil is crafted with broad spectrum CBD and a synergistic blend of soothing essential oils for the ultimate CBD and chill. And they say that you can rub this on your temples, belly, lower back to help relieve pain. In terms of the key ingredients, this is where I think the miracle actually takes place. This has hemp seed oil, lavender oil, argan oil, evening primrose oil, lemon oil, lemongrass oil, and 1% broad spectrum CBD oil. Guys, when I tell you the relief that this gives, it is amazing. I've never experienced anything like it. This has just been such a game changer and it makes it a bit easier to start the day. And if I'm feeling a bit nauseous or I can't sleep or I'm finding it hard to concentrate, I do a couple of drops of this, massage it in my palms, and then I rub this on my belly. I really take time to massage it in. I really get in there, like really, really, really massaging it. And I find that that helps so much. I think it is the combination of massage with this balm that has those oils, the CBD in it. I think that penetrates into the skin and just helps to relax and loosen up the uterus. I don't know. I don't really know the science of it. I like it. Also, you know, maybe this could just be a psychological thing. If it's a psychological thing, I don't care because it relieves pain for me and it means that I can get on with my day. Funnily enough, last week I actually took this to work with me and it's funny because I don't normally leave the house with this because I always think to myself, this would be such an awkward product to apply like when I'm out in public. I did take this to work with me and oh my God, it was amazing. I came back to my desk and I was like, oh, pain-free, literally pain-free. Again, while you can use this on its own, this is not something that I would use solely on its own. I would pair this with paracetamol, ibuprofen, 
or the next product that I'm about to talk about. Also, I should say that this here is, it's not cheap, I have to say. This here is £29.50, but you can get this cheaper if you are buying it for the first time because I only have like 10% or 15% off your first order. I think you can also get this from Oliver Bonus for like £13 I saw. There are other places that you can get this for a bit less, but to be fair, I would pay £29. £29 to feel relaxed. I just feel like if you have periods, then you know, you cannot put a price on feeling comfortable during your time of the month because you just cannot put a price on that. So I feel like it's worth it. The next item on the list is tea. <laughs> now this does sound a bit like tea, really, whatever, but it's not just any old tea. It is a very specific kind of tea and that is rose tea. Now, it wasn't until I was about like 18, 19 that I actually even discovered or learned that rose is really good to help if you are having cramps, period pain, any of that stuff. I don't know really the science behind it, but it just helps to relieve everything and makes you feel a bit more at ease. So ever since then, I have been drinking rose tea. Well, I try to drink rose tea when I am on my period and I don't have medication or I'm taking ibuprofen or paracetamol just to you know help to boost and prolong the pain relief because even one minute of pain is not good at all so a couple of weeks ago when I was out to buy some rose tea I couldn't find the tea that I used to drink I used to drink the Taylor's rose lemonade tea but I couldn't find that anywhere I try some might so I thought I would try I think Puka tea has like a pink tea I can't remember what it's called so I was looking for that to try I couldn't find that anywhere but while I was in Holland and Barrett looking for the Puka tea I came across the Heath and Heather organic rose hip tea this was really the only rose tea that they had so I bought this not thinking much of it I was like oh do you know what rose tea whatever I'll try it but guys this I have to say is even better than the Taylor's rose and lemonade tea that I was drinking I have been drinking for years like it's amazing I had one cup of this by the time I finished my cup all of my cramps had gone and I don't say that lightly literally all of them had gone it was this tea that made me say oh I should film a video about some natural period pain relief remedies because what is in this tea I don't know it's a miracle miracle a miracle thing I have actually tried another Heath and Heather tea they have a Manuka honey and rubos tea which is delightful absolutely amazing this tea is caffeine free so you can really drink this at all times of the day case in point I think it was what day did I drink this must have been Thursday Friday night I drink this at like 10 p.m <laughs> literally at 10 p.m and I managed to get to sleep just fine this is a rose hip and hibiscus infusion so each tea bag is 50% rose hip 50% hibiscus and this is what the tea bag I'm not going to open the actual sachet because I don't want to waste it but the tea comes in a sachet like that and within it is the tea bag and yeah you just put it in hot water we all know how to make tea what i do though when i drink my tea is i don't take out the tea bag so i will just have the tea bag in the water and then once the water's cooled down then i start to sip the tea and then i just keep the tea bag in through the whole duration of me drinking the tea it's so good i really wasn't expecting much of it so i will be back in holland and barrett to buy some more of this tea just so that i don't run out and this box that it comes in very nice nice box the packaging is really nice as well cute packaging love the design on it this box comes with 20 tea bags so i think for me because i would only drink this while i'm on my period and i think i only have between one and two mugs of this a day so this will probably last me like two or three periods depending on what i'm going from what i'm doing because i do like i say take paracetamol ibuprofen and that kind of stuff i don't drink as much tea but i think if you are looking for a more natural pain relief remedy and you don't want to be taking pills then you can just drink a couple cups of this throughout the day and this is a great thing because i think unlike the balm you can take this anywhere with you and unless you know then no one's going to be like oh my god are you on your period or whatever they'll just be like oh what's that interesting tea and you can just be like oh yeah i'm trying out a really cool tea if you're like shy about talking about being on your period or whatever so this is a tea that you can take to work with you you can take out you can take if you're going on a trip you can travel with this you can leave this out on your desk and no one will think anything of it whereas i think if you were to leave a holy cramp balm on your desk people might be like what is that <laughs> you know but yeah i paid three pound twenty for this I think yeah three yeah three pound twenty you can get this from 
Holland & Barrett. To be fair, I've only seen this in Holland & Barrett, but I've not been looking at this anywhere else, but I will have a link to this down below so you can check out where you can get this from. But yeah, such a great discovery. I'm so happy that I discovered this. The last thing on the list is not an item. This is a free thing, so yay to not spending any money. This one requires a lot of practice, a lot of patience, and it is deep breathing. I don't know what the name of this particular deep breathing method is, but when I went to Gone Bath last Sunday, well, last Sunday at the time of filming this video, so a couple of weeks ago, and one of the breathing exercises that we do in class before we get into the gonging of everything just to help us relax, you breathe in for eight, you hold your breath for eight, and then you breathe it out for eight. You can also like alternate the numbers, so maybe you can breathe in for eight, hold for four, and then breathe out for eight. And the whole point is to just calm your nervous system, regulate your breathing, and just basically calm the F down, I found. And I really love doing this when I am in so much pain. But the thing that makes this tricky is you need to not be in your head and in your body because it just doesn't work and you need to find stillness and that's why it's a bit difficult because when you are in that much pain or in any pain it's very hard to not think about the pain that you're in and it's very hard to detach yourself from it but what I love about this deep breathing exercise or even just taking a deep breath you don't need to count and hold and all the rest of that stuff you can just slow your breath down breathe in and breathe out that's what I love about this breathing it just helps to relax you it's kind of like a meditation-y type thing and because you're just like breathing i think your brain like you mentally go somewhere else i just know that when i'm breathing deeply like after a couple of minutes i'm in no pain anymore but usually because i've fallen asleep i think sleep is the ultimate pain relief because you can't really feel anything when you're asleep yeah so usually because i'm asleep or it's just because i'm just so relaxed that i'm not feeling it and it's only when i start to come to again and like start to regain consciousness that that's when i kind of feel the pain starting to come back but that's why like when you first wake up unless you properly are woken up by the pain you're not really in a lot of pain because i think your brain is still like in that sleep restful mode but it's only as you start to come to and gain like more consciousness that the cramps and the pain start to come back that said when you are in that much pain the last thing that you're going to be thinking about is breathing holding your breath and then breathing out and not freaking out but it does take practice and i think that is definitely one of the best things that you can do when you don't have medication or you've exceeded the amount of ibuprofen and paracetamol you're allowed to take you don't have any balm and you don't have any tea. It's also a really good exercise to do if you are just genuinely stressed in life and you want to relax. Breathing. It's so funny because I really didn't know how beneficial breathing was for the longest time, which sounds so dumb, but it is what it is. Okay guys, so those are my three natural remedies for period pain. A very different kind of video. Now I know that every single body and every single person is different, so just because these products work for me and these techniques work for me doesn't mean they will work for you, but it doesn't hurt. And I think in this game called life, we're always trying to find different hacks and tips and tricks and tools that we can do just to make our lives that much easier especially if you do have to go to work you do have to take care of your kids you do have to live whilst you're also literally shedding a part of your body every month like hell absolutely hell so why not try and make it a bit more easier as always everything that i've mentioned will be linked down below so make sure you check out my description box i'll also see if i can find some deep breathing videos so i have those linked down below in case you are new to breathing <laughs> In case you are new to deep breathing, wow. In case you are new to deep breathing and you just wanna be guided through it by an expert, then I'll have some videos down below for you. If you have any questions, please do also leave them down below as well. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and in the meantime, I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.